Hi, for this video what I want to do is show you how to find the area under the normal curve using a free online graphing calculator called Class Calc. Um, it's a very nice handy tool to use especially if you can't afford an expensive graphing calculator and you're able to do your calculations at home. Okay, um, so for all of these what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull up the calculator and plug the values in. I'm not going to draw out the picture because the nice thing about using class calc is it also shows you the picture with the area at the same time. Okay, um, so let me go ahead and pull up the calculator and we're going to be looking at the following areas. So the first one is left of z equals negative 1.78. So what we want to do first is pull up our normal distribution. So when you come to classcalc.com backslash graphing calculator, you're going to use the up arrow to pull up your menu choices and we're going to go to the statistics menu. Under the statistics menu, we're going to go to the distributions or plots and we're going to go to the normal distribution. So it's going to pull up the normal distribution up here and it's going to ask you for your mean and your standard deviation. Since we're dealing with z-scores, the mean is always going to be zero and the standard deviation is going to be one. If you notice, they did draw a curve over here to represent the normal curve. And I do want this to be in CDF is what we're going to be looking for is because we're looking for all of the area starting from negative infinity up until negative 1.78. Okay, so I'm going to click CDF and it's going to give me a range of intervals. If you notice, it just shaded it in and that's because it's shading everything in from negative infinity to positive infinity. So your lower limit always goes here, so that's the lowest value shaded, and your upper limit goes here. So since it says left of z equals negative 1.78, what we want to do is we want to go from negative infinity, and we want to stop at negative 1.78. So if you notice, they've now shaded the area over here where negative 1.78 falls, and it gives you the area right here. So you would round it probably to four decimal places as the default. And so we would just put 0 0.0375. So this is approximately 0 0.0375. Okay, moving to the next one. We're going to delete out the negative 1.78, and this time we want to the left of 0 0.34. So 0 0.34 we would enter in, and you can see that this time it falls above the mean. So this is centered at the mean, and then I have one, two standard deviations. And so you can see that 0 0.34 is between 0 and 1 standard deviations above the mean. And so we would round it again to four decimal places, and so it would be 0 0.6331. Okay, um, with area to the right, this time we're going to start with shading at 1.23 and we're going to end at positive infinity. So this time, because I want to the right, I'm going to start with the value that I want and I'm going to leave the positive infinity symbol up here and I can see that 0 0.1093 would be my value or my area to the right of a z-score of 1.23. All right, and then the last one is between. So with between, what you would do is you can clear out your information. Oops. You can clear out your information and you're gonna start with the negative 1.78. And then we're going to stop shading at 1.2. And it was 1.20, so if you wanted to, you could put the zero in, but you don't have to. And this would be your answer right here. So it would be 0.8474 if we round to four decimal places. So using class calc does make this extremely simple. Um, plus, I really like the fact that it does give us a visual representation of what we are finding the area of, so you can visually see what you are finding. As always, thanks for watching. If you have any questions, please let me know. If there are additional topics that you would like me to cover, please let me know that as well.